This is the last video of 2019. We have come so far and the best is yet to come. I'm so honored and elated that I get to spend the last <laughs> mukbang of 2019 with the Waxer Squad. You guys have changed my life. I'm excited about 2020. I'm excited about what God has in store for you. So without further ado, this is Waxing with Donisha and I ain't come to play. I'll be waxing every day, different foods, different ways. If you're new, hit subscribe. Leave a comment down below. Don't be shy. Come along for the ride. Why? Because this is the Waxer Squad. The Waxer Squad. The Waxer, Waxer, Waxer Squad. Y'all, today, honey, today, we got some fried fish. We got some noodles. We got some garlic bread in the back. We got some clams. And I threw in a little piece of chicken that I was eating that I uh, cooked for my kids. So a little baked chicken there. So without further ado, let's get into a quick moment of prayer and we're going to get started. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for getting us to the last mukbang of the year, Lord. We ask that you get the glory out of our lives. Get the glory out of our situations. Get the glory out of everything concerning us in 2020. We give you our best. We ask that you bless those that do not have and let it overflow. We ask that you sanctify each and every one of our meals and make it nourishing to our bodies, taking out any impurities. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right. Let's get started, y'all. First meal of the day. Um, you guys will get this video today. It is actually Sunday, and I'm super excited because in about an hour, we're going to be um, starting doing our vision board party. So I wanted this video to come out before 3, but um, you know how it is when... You know, I was actually worshiping a lot this morning when I woke up. I literally woke up, started cleaning up and started worshiping. So, and for those of you that don't know what worship is, it's when you, you know, give honor and thanks to your creator and you just cry out to him and tell him, you know, how grateful you are. And y'all, this week, this week alone, I just been, or I should say this weekend, I've been doing so much reflecting. So, so much reflecting, you guys, on um, just everything. You guys, first bite. This is tilapia, fried tilapia. So, yeah, put some um, hot sauce on it. But I've just been doing so much reflecting, y'all. Mm. 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 I'm just so grateful for everything God has done for me and my family in 2019. God has literally saved me for such a time as this. And I feel like 2020 is just going to, I'm going to embrace it with open arms I'm going to set goals and accomplish them. <sighs> Ooh, slow down, sailor. And I know that my heavenly father is going to guide me the entire way. I know he is. So much has happened. Um... You know, a lot of times you wouldn't share certain things until they manifest or until they, you know, actually come to pass. But I want to share some things with you guys because I want you guys to have my back. I want you guys to support. And I want you guys to be a part. I want you guys to be included in this journey. So... I am going to share that in 2020, I'm starting a podcast. Mm. 
and I'm so excited about it. I want to do a blog too, start a blogger, a blog channel. Mm. For those who like to read. And not just that. I know one day God is going to have me write a book. So. I want to do. A. Blog. So that I can. Um. Take whatever I put in my blogs and trans and trans um transfer it on paper. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's why I wanna um start a blog channel. Oh, I just can't believe how far I've come in this short amount of time. I've come so far. You guys, it's so important to reflect. Anytime you're getting ready to take a next, to go into a next season, and next season, it's so important to reflect. I can't stress it enough. And I was taking a shower and washing my hair this morning and I just broke down because I can literally think back to uh, so many days where I thought that I wasn't going to make it. I can think back to so many days when I thought I wasn't going to make it, y'all. When I just thought that life was just meaningless. Like there, like it was no purpose, no, no, no meaning for it. No, no, no meaning for it. Like for what, you know, I could think back so many times, but it's like when you, when you start something new, when you start a new journey and, and you know, you make it through and you start to see the fruit of your labor. <laughs> Excuse me. When you start to see the few, the fruit of your labor, it does something to you on the inside. When I look and I see that I have over 1,200 subscribers and um, a great deal of a great deal of you guys communicate with me, and then when I'm not here. When I don't put a video out, some of you are like, where are you at? You know? Or, you, or you'll go back and watch older videos because you miss me. Um, When I think about When I think about um, how far I've come within this, within seven months, seven, eight months, it just confirms to me that when you put your all into something and you push through the hard times, you push through the, the rain, you push through the storm, you push through the letdowns. When you push, when you put your um your your best foot forward, no matter what you're going through, no matter what is happening or taking place in your life, when you set a goal and you you put action behind that goal, and when times get hard and the wind starts to blow, you don't give up. You continuously believe, 
and you, your, your faith may waver a little bit, but you center yourself again and you keep pursuing what it is that you want to pursue, that you believe in and you're invested in. And then it has to return. You have to get a return on it eventually. But when that return comes through, when that return co finally comes through for you, It comes through so unexpectedly and all of a sudden that you don't have time to realize it. So the ending of a new year, I mean, the ending of a year and the beginning of a new year is a time for you to reflect. It is a time for you to slow down, take some time and think about where you are, where you've been and where you want to go. It is more than setting a new year's resolution. It is more than losing weight. It is more than having a bigger bank account. It's about reflecting on the ups and the downs. It's about recognizing gratitude. It's about recognizing your, it's, it's about finding your gratitude, finding the things that you're thankful for, finding the things that have pushed you into the new level that into the new level that you are at. We move so fast every single day of our lives and we often do not take the time to stop and reflect. And I encourage every single one of you before January 1st comes to reflect, to take time and reflect. And because I serve God and because I know for a fact that I couldn't have made it through 2019 without him, my reflection includes, he is the, he is the, um, he is the beginning and the ending of my reflection. He is the beginning and the, he is the, he is the source of my reflection. Because without him, I couldn't have made it. Because anytime I have felt weak, I have I have had to call on his name. Anytime I felt like, God, I can't do this anymore. I have had to call on his name. So all he gets all honor. He gets all praise. Hmm. As a matter of a fact, it's his birthday. It's his birthday. Because he gets all praise. He gets all honor. He's been so good to me. Better than I could have been to myself. And what, what has me in so much awe of God is that I know there are people that came into 2019 but didn't make it out. Aren't going to make it out. And I know for a fact that I was supposed to be one of those people that didn't make it out of 2019. By the enemies. Um, traps that he set for me. I know that I wasn't supposed to be here. Excuse me. Because the enemy didn't want me here. Because he doesn't want, there's something that I've gone through, you guys, that is going to shake the world when I tell when I when I share the testimony about what I've been through it is going to shake every corner of my life and maybe even yours and the devil doesn't want it to get out because he doesn't want it to help someone else he doesn't want it to Help someone else overcome so that a soul may be saved and one to the one to the Lord. He doesn't want that to happen. He wants some chicken. It's bait. He doesn't want that to happen. So that's why I am so grateful. Um that. God has protected me and he's lifted up a standard. I'm so thankful to him that he has covered me and covered my family.
I'm so thankful that my mind, that my mind is focused, that I have my right mind. And when I was in that bathroom this morning, I was telling God, I said, God, don't let me do anything that isn't intentional. And the reason why I say that is because God is intentional. He's an intentional God. That means that he doesn't do it. He doesn't make mistakes. Everything he does is connected to a purpose. Everything he does is connected to a season. He does nothing in mis He does not make mistakes. He is not a God that it he is not a God of error. And he's therefore he's an intentional God. Everything that he does is intentional. I said, God, I want my footsteps to be intentional in 2020. God, I want the doors that are supposed to close in my life to be intentional. Don't let me do anything off of impulse in 2020. Don't let me be impulsive about anything. I want to be intentional about the people I invite into my circle. I want to be intentional about the steps that I take. I want to be intentional about the, the, um, the turns that I make. I want to be intentional in 2020, God. If it's not intentional, don't let me do it. Because I have lost and I have um, lost so much time in the past. I've wasted so much time, but I hear the voice of God saying it was all purposed. Sometimes we feel like we've wasted so much time doing the things that we know have not gotten us any results that we need to get. So we're trying to catch up and run up. But I hear the voice of the Lord saying that everything was purposed for your steps that you need to take in your future. Everything that you've gone through in the past, yeah, it might've taken you a little bit longer than it's taken some of the other people, but he has ordered our footsteps. But in 2020, it is a time of, um, I, I put this in my community post, post. It is a time of envision, believe, pursue. Say that. Envision, put that in the comments down below. I want every single person that has made it this far in the video to put that down in the comments section. Envi envision, believe, pursue. Envision, believe, pursue. Envision, believe, pursue. That might be the name of my first book. Envision, believe, pursue. Pursue. That might be the name of my first podcast. Envision, believe, pursue. What does that mean, Donisha? What are you trying to say? Well, let's just give it, let's just put an example. With this YouTube channel, I envisioned it. I envisioned it. And when I sat down and I pressed record for that first video, And I watched the playback of it and I said, huh, let me just go ahead and upload this. Right when I clicked upload and the video began to upload, that was believing. That was believing. When times got so, 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 so hard. When times got so hard in my life. And I wanted to give up on this YouTube channel because of the internet bullying, bullying, because of the people acting like they know me or know my family, because of sometimes I just didn't have the money to buy the food. Sometimes I wasn't feeling good. Sometimes my body was aching. Y'all know I just twisted my knee a month ago, but I had... To keep believing. I had to keep believing. And because I kept believing, I kept pursuing. So when things came to discourage me, when the enemy tried to stop me from doing this, when the enemy put blocks and barriers and set traps for me, I still pursued it. Hmm. 
And that is what I believe every single person has to do when you're trying to see a return in your life. When you want to see a return in your life, you have to envision it. Never stop thinking about it. Never stop having visions. Never stop believing it, no matter what. As long as you keep it here and you continuously envision it, that thing is going to come to pass. No matter what people tell you, believe. No matter what people call you, believe. No matter what barriers stand in your way, believe. Keep believing. And <clears throat> put that belief to the test with perseverance. Put that belief to the test with perseverance. Y'all, <clears throat> I got to get up out of here. I love y'all so much. But I feel like we have to close out with some prayer because I want you guys to pursue your goals, to pursue your destiny. And I made it. I made it. Woo. I made it. And the best is yet to come, honey. 2020 is my year. 2020 is our year. 2020 is your year. So dear Heavenly Father, every single person that this video is supposed to reach, God, let it reach them and find them in great, in great honest, and humble spirits, God. Lord, I ask that you take every vision, every goal, every dream, that you have placed on the inside of your people. And I ask that you make it come to life. Dreams that have been buried, dreams that have been dead for so many years, God, let them come to pass in 2020. Let nothing stop us or hold us back, Lord. And every trap that the enemy set, we thank you right now, God, that you've already destroyed it in the spiritual realm, God. Lord, we ask that you get the glory out of our lives, get the glory out of everything that we are in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord. Bring us into 2020 victorious, God. Bring us into 2020 with a divine connection to you, Lord. Don't let us do anything that is not intentional and that does and that is not covered in your blood, God. Don't let us go anywhere that we ought not go, Lord. Lord, help us to our visions to be clear, crystal, crystal clear, God. Make it crystal clear what you purposed us and put on the inside of us and predestined us to do and become, God, so that your kingdom can be one in the name of Jesus, so that you can do your work through us in this earth, God. That is why we are here, to be a vessel for you to use, Lord. Cover every broken heart, God. In the name of Jesus, God, I bless. I ask that you bless and sanctify this prayer in Jesus' name. I love you guys so, so much. And I will see you guys another mukbang probably Wednesday. Okay? I love you guys so much, Waxer Squad. And I hope and pray that you guys have a blessed new year. Happy new year. Bye.